Hello, my name is James Hortop. I'm from Merlin Equipment, and I'm here today to speak to you about our expert modular battery monitor. Battery monitor is an extremely useful piece of kit on board your boat, your RV, your service van, or your remote home installation, or your off-grid installation. A battery monitor will show you information such as your battery voltage, the amount of current you're charging out or discharging at, amper hours used from the battery, state of charge or percentage left in the battery, time remaining until the battery is flat, and also state of health. A battery monitor will allow you to answer questions like, can we leave the fridge running tonight? Or do we need to start the engine? Or if the engine's running, can we actually turn the engine off now because the batteries are, are pretty much charged? The expert modular is different to our smart gauge battery monitor in terms that it will actually measure current and it counts amper hours. It doesn't use an algorithm in the same way that smart gauge does. However, it's still an extremely good battery monitor. So my video today is a walkthrough of what comes with the expert modular battery monitor how we install it and how the system is used. On the table here, we've got a 115 ampere hour AGM battery, a piece of DC negative cable, which is what you'd need, a spanner and our expert modular. And that's all that's needed for the installation of this unit. So if we take a look inside the box as shipped from Merlin to yourself, <clears throat> It comes with everything that you need to make a full and proper and professional installation. So we're just taking the covers off. So we have the meter itself. So the meter is designed to be installed on your chart table or adjacent to your switch panel. It's a standard hole size, which you cut with a hole cutter. And then it's got a spin on bezel at the back to clamp the meter into place. There's just a single connection on the back which is a telephone type connector, so no complicated wires to attach. The brains of the system is this device called a smart shunt. So this is a current measurement shunt. It goes in the negative side of the battery cables. I was gonna take the cover off so you can take a look inside. This is our main negative connection across the batteries just here. And then we've just simply got some plug-in connections for the other wires that are needed within the unit. supplied with the smart shunt to meter cable, the voltage sensing cable, and then rubber bungs for the ports that we're not going to use today. And perhaps the most important part that most people don't read is the manual. So taking a look at the installation drawing, basically the smart shunt needs to go in the negative for the batteries. No other cable must bypass a shunt. If that happens, the battery monitor will never be accurate. So think about the load side of the smart shunt being the main negative connection point for all loads on board your vehicle, vessel, or off-grid installation. Once that cable is put in place, it's very simple. You can run a positive cable from the smart shunt down to the battery positive terminal for, for voltage measuring, and that's it. So we're gonna get on and install it. The first thing we do is we read the manual. So this would be our main negative connection onto the batteries. Now, a lot of people don't know this. When you're connecting a battery, you'll always have two pieces of hardware. One will be a standard washer and one will be a spring washer. Both of those always go on the bolt. The lug goes directly onto the battery and the spring washer and the normal washer at the top, the battery lug. Really important especially when you're going to start putting a lot of current. Connected to the negative side. Now we're going to connect to the smart shunt. So this is the positive sense wire. What's quite nice is it actually comes with the fuse already in line. So the expert modular battery monitor will monitor the voltage of up to two other battery banks. So if you've got an auxiliary battery and an engine start battery, or perhaps an auxiliary battery, an engine battery, and a, shack, and a radio battery, or an ankle winch battery, you can monitor the voltage of that. So that's the expert modular installed. What I've done is I've just put the rubber bungs in the unused ports. Now, there is one extra item that we're going to install today, and this is the Bluetooth 
quick link connector. And very simply, we pull that out, one of those bungs. This connects into the smart shunt and it gives us Bluetooth functionality for the unit as well. I haven't put the cover back in over the smart shunt because it means I have to break the sides off and I don't want to do that. So now the physical installation of the unit is sorted out. Literally all that we need to do is we need to tell it the type of battery that we're using and the size of the battery. So using our Bluetooth link, we can connect to the battery monitor and there's a free app downloadable from the Apple iStore store or the Android store, your TBS dashboard, you can connect to the unit. And our first screen is an at a glance view of what's happening with our batteries. So at the top, we've simply got a um, state of charge reading. We can then show you the battery voltage, the current, the time left and status all on one screen. If you press the show more button, we can then show you some other information such as uh, the power that you're pulling down in watts, how many amp hours you're using, temperature, etc., etc. Going back to the settings mode, there's a, a few extra pages here which are extremely useful. So status, it will show you the status of all the various different inputs um, and of the batteries themselves. And one of the interesting ones here, as you can see, you've got state of health of the battery. In history, we can show you the average discharge of the batteries in amp hours the average discharge in percentage, the deepest discharge, the deepest discharge ever, the total amper hours removed from the batteries, the total kilowatts, number of cycles, etc., etc. And what it's really useful is for identifying when predictive maintenance is needed. So I'm just about to go on holiday for two weeks in my boat. Should I think about changing my batteries before I go or will they last until we get back? Within setup, we can do quite a lot of different things. So I showed you earlier setting up the battery monitor using the buttons on the front. Obviously you can use the app to do that. So battery type, we can change the type of battery type. We can change the type of capacity, uh, the nominal discharge rating of the battery. Now, most battery manufacturers rate their batteries at the 20 amp hour rate. Some obscure ones do it at the 10 hour rate, which is um, strange, but for most vehicle and marine applications and off-grid applications, it should be at the 20 amp hour rate. Uh, nominal temperature. Um, you've then got Pukert's exponent. Now, every battery has something called Pukert's exponent, and it is related to the amount of power that you have to put back into a battery to get it back to a state of charge um, after discharge. So if you've pulled 100 amp hours down from a battery, how many amp hours would you need to put in as a ratio? Um, and that's what the PUCAS exponent is. That information is available from uh, battery manufacturers. You can also change the battery bank, bank name if you wish. Some of the other functions which are useful is you can go into global and you can do things like change the backlight timing, the contact polarity for the alarm on the rear of the unit, temperature units, etc. So when you first connect your expert modular battery monitor, it will ask you what type of battery is connected. So you can use the left and right arrows to scroll between the various different types. So you can see flooded, gel, AGM, lithium, etc. So in this case, it's AGM. Press the menu to store that within the memory of the unit. On the second page, it will then ask us for the capacity of the battery. So looking at the battery itself, it will say on the battery what the capacity is. So in this case, this is a 115 amp hour battery. So 115 is set. Hit the menu button again to store it. And there we go. The unit is now up and running. Explaining what we've got on the display, we have an at a glance reading, which is this large bar graph, semicircular bar graph around the outside of the display. So this will show you at a glance approximate state of charge of the battery. And you can see at the minute the battery is pretty much 100% fully charged. In the middle, we'll show you a state of charge percentage. And then we've got the voltage there at the bottom of 12.81 volts. And then that number one inside that battery means that we're looking at battery number one, which is the only one that we've got connected at the moment. If we then use the left and right arrows, we can scroll between the various different functions of the unit. So at the minute, we're looking at the voltage at 12.81 volts. We can see the amount of current that we're pulling out or charging at. Now that will show you up uh, plus or minus 500 amps in each direction. And what's really useful with that function is that if you're running from solar panels, for example, you can tailor the amount of current 
load that you have attached to the batteries to ensure that you are always charging. So let's say your solar panels are putting eight amps in and you want to run some uh, equipment within your, say your kitchen, your fridge, your freezer, other things like that, and you wanna make sure that you're, you're seeing a positive amount of charge into the batteries, even though you're running loads. It means that you can go around switching loads off until you see a positive amount of charge running into the batteries. This is how many hours that we've got running at the current rate of consumption until the batteries are flat. So we've got 200 plus hours at the moment, which is the maximum. And then if you've got a temperature sensor connected, it will show you the temperature of the batteries as well. So that concludes my overview of our TBS Expert Modular Battery Monitor. And I hope you'll agree with me. It's a very powerful piece of kit, yet it's extremely easy to install. If you'd like to find out some more information, the data sheets are available on www.merlinequipment.com or you can give us a call on 01202 697979. Either myself or one of my colleagues would be very happy to answer any questions that you've got regarding this battery monitor. If you find yourself uh, passing our door here in Exeter, you're very welcome to come and see one of these working in our showroom. Thank you.